Hello, I'm Janice Cortez. My painting, Homage to Sargent, honors the work of the great portrait painter John Singer Sargent. In it, I'm focusing as much on the theme of girlhood as on the life and work of the artist. Let's look at both those subjects to see how they interact in my painting. First, a few words about Sargent are in order. Born in Europe to expatriate American parents after the Civil War, he lived a privileged, glamorous life painting portraits of the rich, famous, and powerful on both sides of the Atlantic. His genius for creating elegant, commanding likenesses is legendary, but I believe some of his very best work captures the mercurial moods of childhood in the fresh faces of pint-sized heirs and heiresses to the world's great fortunes. Most of Sargent's paintings of children were commissioned works, but the daughters of Edward D. Boyd appears to be an exception. Sargent was a friend of the Boyds, and it's likely that it was he, rather than the girl's parents, who suggested this painting. There is no existing paperwork on a commission, as there ordinarily would be, and upon its completion, Sargent decided to present the painting not to the family, but to the public, exhibiting it in a gallery show. The Boyts did eventually purchase the work, and today it remains a crowd-pleasing highlight of the Museum of Fine Arts collection in Boston. At 100 by 100 inches, the painting's size reinforces its drama, and it now hangs between those two monumental Chinese vases, the very ones that Sargent depicted and that the Boyts cherished more than a century ago. Three of the four girls look out at us with the self-possession appropriate to their station. We, the viewers, are intruders into their world of childhood and are regarded with mild or non-existent curiosity rather than wariness. Absolute silence seems to reign, at least for this one moment of our interruption, and their world remains their own, safe and private. We cannot enter. We can only look. The youngest girl, Julia, takes center stage very much like the Infanta Margarita in Diego Velazquez's strange, beautiful, brilliant painting, now known as Las Meninas, the Handmaidens. Sargent greatly admired Spanish painting, especially the work of Velazquez, and had made a detailed copy of the 17th century masterpiece. Note its influence on his own artfully constructed painting. See how the figures emerge out of darkness. How the framing of the two center sisters, the light catching glass in the deep shadow, and the diagonal slash on the right all mimic aspects of Las Meninas. But note also that it's all seen in reverse, as if these elements are reflected in a mirror. It seems Sargent was setting an advanced design challenge for himself, and I think we can all agree he met it brilliantly. Now, let's look more closely at these carefully placed children. You know, sometimes little girls give us a glimpse of an effortless grace that forecasts their future strength and beauty. Sargent saw that quality in the Boyd girls, and he celebrated it. In my own painting, I employ the spirit of that same grace as the perfect compositional antidote to the straight lines, verticals, horizontals, and right angles of my painting's background. When I was searching for poetic still life examples that would embody that subtle quality, I chose the sinuous exuberance of tulips, the willowy blue dragon on the Chinese vase, and the lyrical energy captured in Paul Manship's bronze sculpture of the mythical young athlete Atalanta. That element of grace is present too in the playful design of the cloisonne birds and the curves of the French carriage clock. And it was in honor of that quality that I chose to replicate this unexpected photograph of Sargent. I could have chosen a more conventional photo of him but notice how he lounges nonchalantly on his studio settee for the eye of the camera, looking recklessly self-confident and at ease, which of course is exactly the way he painted. Sargent was paying homage to his mentor, Velasquez, in his composition, 
and I pay homage to both of them in this simple tribute to the combined powers of art and budding femininity. I hope you'll join me again soon for another episode of Demystifying the Masters. If you enjoyed this episode of Demystifying the Masters with Janice Cortez, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. If you are an art collector planning to enhance your collection, we invite you to view more of the Cortez work at JaniceCortez.com. Mm -hmm.